What are the answers that men are looking for and why can't they find them? Now, I've often found that answers that we're looking for for men are a, um, a solution to the problems that they're facing. So it's trying to go around this loophole of like, why do I feel like this? Why do I doubt myself? Why have I not got the confidence to show up? Why do I keep procrastinating? Why do I keep not showing up? And they are really the answers that men are looking for. And the problem is, is that they can't find those answers for one big reason. And there is one big reason or one big thing that you can change or you can do to find those answers. Now, I want to kind of build this up. You're probably wondering what this is around my neck. So yesterday I took part in, in I think it's probably my fourth tournament, but certainly my second jiu-jitsu tournament as a blue belt in the space of two months, I think. So yesterday we got gold right here. Look at it, look at it gleaming. But yesterday I spent the whole day looking for an excuse not to go and compete, okay? I was looking for that reason not to go and show up. And I convinced myself that I wasn't gonna go. I wasn't gonna go because I was too tired. I've got a slight tear in my pec. I put my back out 10 days ago. All of these things were manifesting inside of my head, okay? And I was trying to figure out why I didn't want to go and compete. And the truth is, um, a lot of the time, it's a build-up of fear. Okay? It's a build-up of fear. And there's only one reason that I can answer that art question. So the way you know when we're looking for answers, why don't I want to go? Why am I not going to go and take part in a competition? And there are all of these excuses, but I would never have found out the answer if... I never did the one thing that I'm going to teach you guys to make sure that you are doing. Okay, because when we look for answers, we actually have to be involved in something that allows us to give us the answers. When we don't, we're in a negative state. We're in a self-pity mode. And we can't ever find any answers to the questions that we're looking for because of that. Because there is this great big barrier that's in front of us. And it stops us finding the answers. So the one big reason why you can never find your answers is because the process is not consistent and enough. When you are in a process, you are in a process of self-discovery, character building, confidence building, and understanding and learning and education. So when you are in this process, you go through this process and you go through a series or a funnel of thought processes. They're like little checkpoints that you hit along the way. And along the way, all of the answers that you're looking for to all of the questions that you have, they suddenly start popping up because we suddenly open up this box or this book or whatever you want to call it to wealth of knowledge and understanding and self-awareness. Now, the reason that I know all of the reasons I was looking to procrastinate on not going to this and winning this was because of fear. Because of fear, do you know? And I could make up all of those excuses and go through all of that because I went through the process of going to the uh, tournament with all of the emotions before it, being involved in the tournament and all the emotions with it, and then the reflection on the way back. That whole process opened up the box, allowing me to understand and answer all of the questions that built me up. There was character building, there was self-belief, there was self-confidence, there was experience, there was learning. There was all of these lessons that I learned that allowed me to then break out of that shell. And that is how we reach our potential. That is how, as a guy, as a man, you reach your potential, right? If we don't show up, if we don't show up, then we can't ever answer any of those questions because you don't have this process. You just overthink and mull 
and you mull over all of those thoughts and you just don't think clear enough to be able to solve the problems, to be able to answer the questions. So in summary, the process is king because when we go through a process and we're consistent with that process, we start unraveling all the different layers of us so that we understand ourselves better, so that we can show up at a higher level. You can understand what is required to put in the work. But until you pop that bubble, nothing is going to change. I hope that helps. It's good to be back. We will see you Wednesday, half five, ready to go.